Hey you guys, what's up? I have another super fun video for you guys. Um, okay, so I got something in the mail today and I was super excited to show it to you guys. I haven't used it yet. I haven't even really swatched it yet, but I will be giving you guys swatch review and all that stuff. But just to dive on right in, not waste any time. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. Please, please, please do not forget to subscribe. Please, just kidding. I'm not gonna be begging for subscribers, but if you wanna subscribe, go on ahead. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. That way I can create more reviews and stuff like this for fun. If you don't like it, I mean, you can give it a thumbs down, but you don't have to give it a thumbs down if you don't want to. Comment back feedback um, on what you guys would like to see more. I would like to know more about that. But anyways, let's just hop on right in. So today's video is all about the Kathleen Lights palette. And this is her collaboration that she did with Morphe. You guys, this box is so shiny that you can kind of see my camera reflecting back there. That is how shiny this box is. And here, just to give you guys a closer look, it just says Morphe. And on the back, she has such a sweet note. It says, I'm so happy to be sharing this palette with you guys. It was so fun to think of all the different colors. I love wearing and putting them together. I can't get enough of it and I hope you feel the same way. You guys mean the world to me. Thank you for all thank you for always being so loving and supportive. Enjoy. Kiss hug, kiss hug. And then that's the message that we got from Kathleen Lights. She's so pretty. I don't know about you guys, but I love Kathleen Lights so much. I just love how like kind of like original she is. I like how she's not really like, you know, she just seems really natural, very nice. She seems like if she genuinely en enjoys doing what she's doing. I love how she's true to herself, how she's true to her culture. So whenever I saw, I would literally, the day that she uploaded her video saying, hey, this palette's coming out tomorrow, you gotta upload it. I was like, oh my goodness, I got, oh my goodness. I mean, you gotta upload the palette, what? You gotta buy the palette, you gotta buy the palette. See, I'm, all I'm thinking about is YouTube videos. I'm thinking, okay, I gotta upload this video, I gotta edit this video. But she's like, you guys have to buy my palette. So I was like, okay, I'm totally gonna order it. You guys, I ordered this palette on, I'm filming today on Sunday. I, is it Sunday? I mean, on Saturday, Saturday, not Sunday. I'm filming today on Saturday. I ordered this, uh, this t it's Saturday the 20, 29th. I ordered this on Tuesday, okay? So this palette came in on Saturday. I thought that it was gonna take like two weeks to ship it, I kid you not, because it's kind of it takes a little while to ship in sometimes but anyway so I just took the bag I, I took the palette out of the thing already that way I wouldn't have to wait 10,000 years opening it I am saving this box I'm just gonna set it up somewhere really cute only because the design come on the design's so cute it's so her and I, I, why would I throw away the box so anyways I'm just taking off this little bubble wrap so this is the palette, you guys. It's a very different look from the original Morphe palette. I'm sure everyone knows what the original Morphe palettes look. I mean, they they do have the new Morphe palettes. Like they're coming out with this new like cardboardy style, with like smaller palettes and smaller things like that. But usually for the big old pro makeup palette, the big huge ones with like 30 something colors, those ones are like plasticky. But these ones are cardboard and it feels like a really nice material. It feels like, you know, like Studio Makeup on the Go palettes, Kylie Cosmetic palettes. It just has that cardboardy feel, like the Anastasia cardboardy feel. It's just a cardboard palette. And then on there, it says Morphe times Kathleen Lights. Um, and I just love how it just does that. Isn't that so cool? It does that to my eyes, too. It's not just to the camera. It does it to my eyes, too. And I just, I was like, I love that. I love it so much. Anyway, so we open up the palette, okay, and these are the shades. Let's remove this little plastic thing. If you guys are not new to my channel, you guys know that I am obsessed with the plastic things because of the fact that I feel like the palette should start getting really, really dirty. So I'm just going to scoot in a little bit closer. That way you guys can see these colors. So it did come a little bit dirty, but that's okay because with my finger I can just wipe it off. I think I've literally only swatched one color in here as you guys can see i've not swatched any of the colors but um i'm just gonna go on ahead and begin swatching row by row and this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna swatch it like this dent 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 so this is gonna be row one 
row two, row three, row four, and row five. That's what I'm gonna do because I'm not gonna, I don't wanna be like going, I just wanna let you guys know whenever I'm showing you guys the colors. Okay, so one second. Okay, you guys, so these are the row one swatches and I know that she did say that, sorry guys, my fingers are all dirty. I know that she did, um, this palette's falling. I know that she did mention that um, she, that, I think that she said that she had customized six of these shadows so i know that the rest of them are um you know morphe shadows they're, they're already morphe shadows you'll find them in your other palettes um and i think she said two of them were like single shadows or i don't know something weird like that but you can go and check out her video i'll probably even link it down below her review of her own palette just to let you guys know but these are the colors for row one you guys, these are just beautiful shades. And let me just show you guys them on the um, on the palette. That way you guys can just get a view. So these were these top shades right here. One, two, three. And so this, I know it looks kind of like a matte through the camera, but it's a shimmer shade, obviously. Ah! I literally just dug my nail into the freaking eyeshadow. Does that happen to you guys all the time? But so, see, it's like a nice shimmery shade. So we're gonna go on into row number two. Okay, you guys, so this is row number two. If this camera will hurry up and focus. This is row number two. This one kind of got like a half swatch. I really don't know why it didn't drag all the way down, but um, I wiped off my finger already. This teal one's pretty strong because it's still on my finger. But um, it's a uh, matte and then two shimmers. I love that teal, you guys. I'm not much of a teal user, but man, that's beautiful. And then that uh, color in the middle, I mean, it looks kind of like a purpley bronzy. It looks similar to the color on my shirt, but more purpley. You guys, this camera is doing it no justice. Let's see if I even zoom in a little bit. Let's see if that will do it some justice. There we go. That does it justice. Do you guys see those colors? How freaking cute they are. I love it. Um, the matte shade is not that bad of a quality at all. It wasn't patchy. It wasn't nothing like that. But these shimmer shades are very creamy. That's what I'm coming to notice. They're extremely, extremely creamy. So I'm just going to wipe this off with a napkin. That way I can get onto the other okay now these three colors right here um you can't really see them because they're so similar to my skin tone but let me show you guys them on the palette so this palette's starting to get messy i apologize you guys but these three colors what there was this the third row so it was this color this color and this color um so these were the uh colors you guys and you can't really sorry i gotta pull down the palette so you guys can actually see it you can't really um, see them on my skin, but they're very beautiful colors. This would be a nice transition color just to give me like a base for my eyes, if you guys are getting what I'm saying. But very beautiful colors. I can imagine that on lighter toned gals, um, I can even get it to show. This would be, these colors would be gorgeous. Or even like on a darker tone girls that are a little bit darker than myself i mean i know that i'm brown i'm pretty brown but um even for um darker complexions i think that those colors would look gorgeous because of the fact that they're light i mean they're they're like almost my skin tone but they would look gorgeous on any skin tone lighter than mine or darker than mine because they would really stand out be just beautifully so these are this fourth row right here okay fourth row of colors and they're like, they're pretty, I love these shimmer ones. I just love the Morphe shimmers. These two shades are really nice. I can't really tell you guys, this one's a little bit like, it, this one looks like if it might have a little bit of fallout because I don't know if you guys can really see on my hand, but it's kind of falling apart just a little bit, but that has nothing to do with Kathleen. It has to do with Morphe, okay? Nothing to do with Kathleen has to all, all and everything to do with Morphe. But I, I personally, I love these colors, you guys. Perfect fall colors, beautiful, warm colors. But these are the three bottom shades. You guys, these shades are stunning. Of course, you. What's a pal? What is a palette without a black? What is it? I don't know. So awesome that she added a black in her palette. Um, that maroon shade is just 
gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous for my skin tone. I love maroons. Speaking of maroons, I, you guys can't really see me, but I'm wearing maroon leggings right now. I love maroon. I love maroon. I love maroon. I love maroon fire. I love everything about maroon. Okay. Ah. And then this is just another just really pretty brown shade. I, It's just stunning, you guys. Stunning. So it's shimmer, matte, matte. Beautiful. And then the colors on the palette do look... Oh wrong side these are the three bottom colors so here's them on the palette here's them on my hand so you guys that's pretty much it for Kathleen's uh, new Morphe collaboration palette I'm just in love with it I'm in love with it I love Morphe shadows I personally just love Morphe shadows I know a lot of people have a lot of hate towards them I mean, I mean, not really a lot of people have hate towards them. That's why whenever the people that do have hate towards them, it's just like, really, it's very affordable. This palette was $14.99, I think, plus my shipping and everything. Plus, if you use her discount code, which I think is Kathleen Lights, if you use her discount code, it gives you an extra 10% off, I think. So, it came out to like $21, bucks, $21 plus shipping and everything. That is not bad for a palette like this. This palette does have 15 shades. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mattes. Eight mattes and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight mattes, seven shimmers. So it's just a gorgeous palette. If you guys just want to see it again. Gorgeous palette. I love Morphe, love Kathleen. So why not buy it? So once again, you guys, this is the Kathleen Lights palette. Awesome palette. I just hope that you guys have an awesome week, whatever. I love you guys so much. You guys just rock, okay? You guys rock. So um, I'm pretty much done here. I'm going to get to editing, get on to whatever else I was going to do. I don't remember what I was going to do. Let me swap this plastic sheet back in here. And you guys, once again about these plastic sheets, these plastic sheets, I would recommend these a lot, especially with this cardboard. I you just want like a plastic sheet because if not then they start to stain the top of the cardboard I mean if you guys don't care about it getting I know makeup is meant to be dirty sometimes but well, sometimes you don't want it that dirty because then it just starts getting really bad and then if you don't really take care of your makeup I feel like it just it doesn't start looking right and especially if you're a makeup collector makeup co you just kick the plastic in the thing in the cardboard things if you guys are against like stainy stuff Okay, <laughs> but anyways, I love you guys a lot, and I'll see you guys soon, okay? Bye.